Hey beautiful! Welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading. Actually, this one is also going to be a candle wax reading and we're day three in the future spouse week. So if you don't know, my dear, this week we have our future spouse week and I'm going to upload a future spouse related video every single day. We already have two days and now this is the third day. So yeah, if you haven't seen the others in which it was all about the first impressions, I will make sure to link it in the comment section below. But my dear, today is a very exciting day because I would like to keep the topic open so every information that is meant for you to know can come through. Today it's about important messages about you and your future spouse. It can be about your guys' relationship, how you're going to meet, who your future spouse is, really any information related to your guys' energy. I'm only going to set the intention regarding you and your future spouse and yeah, the rest is welcomed. As always, my dear, I have three pals you can choose from and today I have cards and crystals for you guys. So this is pal 1, this is pal 2, and this is going to be pal 3. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what important messages do you need to know about yourself and your future spouse. As you can see, my dear, I darkened the room a little bit because I wanted to make it today a little bit cozy. Now, as always, I already meditated for you guys and I would say let's start straight away. Let me start. Let me light up the candle. All right. So for my beautiful pile. One. As always, my dear, as always. Please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here. For my beautiful pile one, what do you need to know? first thing I would like to mention is that I feel like my dear Palawan, there is something about, yeah, there is something about traveling in your guys' energy. Traveling is involved in you and your future spouse. Now, it could be connected to how you guys meet. But it could also be connected to something else regarding your relationship. Maybe you guys are gonna um, travel to certain places. It could be the case that something significant will happen, such as maybe someone will propose to another person when traveling. But it feels like, um, like it's very heavy in your energy, you know. Maybe someone is about to travel. Another thing, this travel energy though could also symbolize perhaps someone being very different from the other because maybe you guys are a little bit different from each other. That could be a possibility here as well. Maybe your future spouse is um, from one place and you're from another. But definitely traveling. Yeah.
another thing. Okay, that's interesting. Another thing I'm getting, my dear pal one, is that <laughs> I'm getting a picture of your marriage, like of your wedding day coming through. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing a lot of nature. So it could be the case that um, your wedding will actually be at a place where there is a lot of nature, a lot of greenery. Like, that's something I can see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm also seeing two people taking pictures. Maybe it's you guys, um, yeah, having a photo shoot at this particular place in nature. This is like such a random message, but that's exactly what I wanted this reading to be. Just any messages which are meant for you to know to come through. But I see that. I see, yeah. <laughs> Posing here. It's a very beautiful place. If you're someone who loves nature, if you're someone who would like to make nature a part of your wedding day one way or another incorporate it into the celebration i definitely feel like this is your pal because i see that there is a lot of expression here colors flowers um even a possible a body of water for some of you guys but nature is definitely like playing a role in here um that's for sure <laughs> this candle is burning very funny. What I also find very interesting regarding your relationship, my dear. Mm, it could be the case that... Okay, that's interesting. I feel like you and your and your future spouse, the way you're going to approach this relationship even before marriage, you know, when you get first like um, a couple, it's in a very serious manner. I feel like both of you guys at the time when you will meet, of course, for those of you guys who haven't met, for others, maybe you already met your future spouse, but I really feel like at the time when you guys coming together, both of you guys are going to be at a place in your life where you're ready for this and you're looking for commitment. You know, it's kind of like maybe you have certain things already figured out in your personal life in your career life and it's kind of like the only thing that needs your attention or that needs this something is your love life and you're really ready for it you know what you want that's another great i would say aspect at the time when you will meet your future spouse you know what you want when it comes to love like, this is something I'm getting so, so clearly. It feels like at the time when you will meet your future spouse, you're with both feet, like, very grounded. And you know exactly where your life is heading. You know exactly, like, you have figured a lot of things out. It doesn't feel like a phase in your life in which it's like uncertain or you're insecure about how things are going in fact you're pretty sure i would say maybe is a better way to phrase it like you know you know the path you're on There is also another thing I would like to mention here. If some of you guys are manifesting your future spouse, then this is definitely a very big confirmation. 
because I'm getting keep going. <laughs> That's literally what I'm hearing. Keep going. You are on the right path towards bringing them in. Maybe you're trying to manifest a certain person into your life. Or maybe you're trying to manifest um, a specific person. Definitely the message in here is for you to keep going. And, okay, a great way for you to, to recognize who this person is. Okay, we're getting a lot of different messages today, <laughs> but that's very refreshing. I love this. Um, I should do this more often, you know, just allowing any important messages to come through without really a certain question being asked. Just the intention of, you know, you and your future spouse because another thing i'm i'm getting my dear pile pile um one is that a great way to recognize your future spouse is pay attention to how how they make you feel i'm hearing your future spouse will make you feel very appreciated and not only that but it's also about um them showing you how much they care in the sense that they will invest a lot in you, you know, and they will invest a lot in um in your guys's I'm hearing union. So pay attention to that. It's one thing like talking and stuff like that right because people can say all like all kinds of stuff right but when it comes to your future spouse they may be less of a talker but more of a i would say doer and this is really what is a huge difference in here your future spouse they they will show you through their action how invested they are, how much they care, how much they love you. And that's a huge thing. That's a great way to recognize them. You will see how much they love you and how much they want this relationship with you. So this doesn't feel like someone who's giving mixed singles, uh, excuse me, mixed signals and stuff like that. Absolutely not. Like they will let you know. They will let you know. And I feel like you guys are gonna build your relationship and everything else when it comes to your guys' wedding um, possibly when it comes to, you know, buying a house or a home for each other. And for those of you guys who would maybe even want to have a family and stuff like that. It's all in a very slow but very um, secure speed. It's kind of like you guys, you know, you really think it through. You take it very serious. You don't um, jump into anything because you don't want to make any mistakes you really want to consider everything and stuff like that it's in a very secure way <laughs> there is like i'm trying to explain this the best way possible but this is really the the way it's coming through yeah this is actually all i'm or is there anything else No. This is all I have for you guys, my dear pal one. As always, please feel free to let me know how you feel about the messages. And yeah, my dear, as always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal one, take care, my dear. Hey, pal two, welcome to reading, my dear. 
Now let's see what important messages do we have about you and your future spouse. As you can see, my dear, I darkened the room a little bit because I want to make a cozy environment. Now, when we light up the candle, it's going to get much brighter, so don't worry about that. And as always, I already meditated for you guys. And yeah, I would say let's start straight away. Let me get you your candle for my beautiful pile too. Let's see. Important messages about you and your future spouse. What do you need to know? As always, my dear, as always, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here. For my beautiful pal too. What do you need to know? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay, um, pal two, you're definitely starting off pretty intense. <laughs> I would say, I would like to say that the first message I'm getting is, let me put it mm, this way a very intense physical attraction that within the first encounter will definitely be very obvious and um, yeah, very dominating. I see you guys being extremely attracted towards each other. I just want to emphasize it one more time. So if some of you guys here watching this and physical attraction is so, so, so important for you in a relationship, then you definitely chose the right pile because, okay, it's literally getting hot right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, like, pal two, calm down. <laughs> no, but like, seriously, um, I see... A lot of chemistry, attraction, just like a fireball between you guys that you throw um, to each other, you know? Okay, yeah. So this is definitely a, um, a very interesting message here coming through and very intense, very intense. I'm getting another very interesting message, which I don't know whether you guys are aware of it or not, but your future spouse, my dear, is actually, and I feel like I'm almost like tuning into their energy right now, and this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're watching this, but what I'm getting is your future spouse is manifesting you. Your future spouse right now when you're watching this is manifesting a spouse. I don't know whether you guys are aware of it or not. Maybe you have met them. Maybe you haven't met them. But that's what I'm seeing. Your future spouse desires a, a connection. Like very, very bad. This is the kind of person who loves to be in a relationship they love to share their life, their time, their energy, their resources with a significant other. This is definitely someone who wants to get married. And the only thing keeping them, I guess, away from that, you could say, is the fact that, well, the right person, right? I mean, yeah, and I feel like maybe they haven't met the right person yet or they haven't had that much one second yeah maybe they haven't had that much like luck and love um as you know as we say and 
the desire though regarding a a connection is there you know even though maybe this person has been in relationships that were not successful that doesn't mean the desire is not there in fact i feel like those relationships that may have not ended in a good way have actually taught them a lot and i'm hearing it has taught them what they want <laughs> through experiencing what they don't want they got to know what they want you know and this is someone who thrives in relationships they love to have a union with someone and you will see that in them as well that when you are with them they just are an incredible person to have a relationship with they are um like yeah <laughs> look at the candle you guys um they are very i'm hearing cooperative um they are really willing to you know do the work and work on the marriage and stuff like that and it really fills them with joy you know when they can um like share their their love with a significant other because this person has definitely a lot of love to share and they want to to share it not only with a partner but like with people in general i feel like this is someone who has a great place in people's hearts you know in their family and their friends and stuff like that and when we only focus now on the relationship part this is a great partner there is really no other way to say it This is also someone who's very generous, a very generous person. And this may be one of the first things you will notice about them when you are in a relationship with them. They're very giving. Their love language could also be gift giving. So if this is something that um, someone watching this really loves or it's also a love language of yours and you like it then yeah love language is coming through they feel very abundant you know like this generosity i've been talking about it just feels like someone who is very generous and someone who has a lot to give and feels very abundant and when you are in a relationship with them, you will feel this abundance firsthand as well in your life. Another thing I would like to say here is that you're, I don't know why, like pal 2, I didn't get so much information about your relationship and stuff like that. I feel like it was more so about who your future spouse is. Um yeah pal one didn't get so much information about who their future spouse is but with you you got a lot of information regarding that but what i'm seeing in here my dear is that your future spouse is definitely someone who is gonna support you and your dreams a lot this is someone who will motivate you to take um chances to really go for whatever it is that you're passionate about they're gonna be very supportive of your visions yeah that's something i'm i'm getting here okay I'm not getting any more messages. I guess today's reading is a little bit shorter. My dear pal too, this is all I have for you guys for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And yeah, as always, my dear, if you haven't, 
I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload a new pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal two, take care, my dear. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what important messages do we have for you about you and about your future spouse. Now, my dear, as always, I already meditated for you guys and you can also see that I darkened the room a little bit because I wanted to make it a little bit cozy. <laughs> but don't worry, when we light up the candle, it will get a little bit brighter. So I would say let's start straight away. Let me get you guys your candle. All right. So as always, my dear, as always, please give me a moment. Please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here for my beautiful pile three. What do you need to know about you and your future spouse? What important messages do we have for you today? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys, um, okay, you can't see it, but I literally have my other hand on my heart space right now because there is a lot of loving energy coming through. It's heartwarming, oh my goodness. You will fall in love with your future spouse. Like, really deeply. You will fall in love with them, my dear. I really feel like you will not question whether this person is a possible future spouse for you or a possible partner. Wow, so much love. This is definitely such a intense, like, love union. Honestly, it has elements of unconditional love to it. Maybe that's another way to um, to explain it. Because love can mean a lot of different things. But unconditional love is something that, um, you know, we associate with a level of union. It's incredible. I see that you and your future spouse, my dear pal three, you will fall in love with each other pretty fast. And it feels like, honestly, I'm hearing it is destined. You and your future spouse, you chose to meet in this lifetime and have this romantic love and experience with each other. This is something I'm hearing both of you guys agreed to. But, but it perhaps took this um, right moment for you guys to enter in each other's lives, all right? And I feel like you have been patient. So has your future spouse, okay? Let me tell you that. And what I find very interesting mm, about this is also... Okay, no, give me one second. Um, <laughs> I'm receiving a lot of messages... Another message I'm hearing is um, your future spouse is very attractive. I feel like um, they definitely are... Yeah, a lot of people are attracted towards them. Your future spouse may have a lot of people interested in them. That's another thing I would like to, um, to say here. Um, they could have a lot of admirers as well. Yeah, you're going to find them very attractive. Also, I don't know why. Um, I know who this message is for, but for someone watching this, if you have 
experience some disappointment when it comes to relationship. When you have been surrounded by people who did not feel good for you. And it doesn't only have to be romantically. It can also be other relationship dynamics. Um, you know, such as, let's just say, like family or friends and stuff like that. If this resonates with you, if you feel like you have been surrounded by people that did not really support you or were not good for we were not good for you, maybe a little bit toxic or you experience a lot of disappointments through them, maybe even self-limiting beliefs were put on you. There is a message coming through that not everyone, okay, is like that. Of course, when we experience negativity in our life, for example, if we have had negative relationships in our life, we may feel like, okay, maybe in the future, we may end up in a similar situation. Maybe every person um, is like that, you know. We may have certain thoughts regarding future experiences because the past has has proven something to us, you know. For example, in the past, let's just say um, someone watching this, they're interested in men. Maybe they have been in the relationship with men in the past, but they weren't that um, I'm hearing healthy or good. So maybe they think, okay, all men are like that or all relationships with them are like that, you know. And there is a message coming through here, which is saying that One second. Yeah. Your past experiences do not define who you are, what you deserve, and what you can have in the future. Maybe some of you guys, you've um, found yourselves in the past connecting with people who were not great. But that doesn't mean that you can't have better or you don't deserve better than that and that there are not better people out there and i don't know maybe someone i heard i'm so un like yeah i heard i'm unlucky so maybe someone has said such things or thinks that they are unlucky when it comes to love or certain areas of their life and the message in here is very clearly um that the past is the past, but your future, okay, your future can bring in a lot of opportunities and a lot of better experiences, but it's very important for us to believe in it as well. So if you're someone who has experienced some tough things in your love life, especially um, because this is a love life reading, then know that you deserve better and in fact the energies coming towards you are much better so it's important for you to stay optimistic because the energy we carry influences our life or our perception influences life as well right we're co-creating life so really see what beliefs you have regarding love because it's very important to check those and know that you're deserving of so much more than you have experienced and that you deserve good. You deserve the best. All right? And that's what I'm seeing you bringing in. That's why, um, yeah, that's what you're attracting. Your future self doesn't believe that they deserve the things that happened in the past or that they um, should just go for anyone. No, this future self of yours, they know their worth and they're not going to settle for anyone who, who doesn't know their worth, you know, and who especially emotionally available here is coming through. Maybe for some of you guys, you have... Um, 
connected with people who were emotionally unavailable. But I definitely see you moving into a place where it's almost like you're very cautious when it comes to who you're connecting with, you know, and who you don't connect with. Because once again, I'm hearing, I deserve so much better. And you absolutely do, my dear. Your future spouse is also someone who, who is very optimistic. And I feel like through the relationship that you're going to have with your future spouse, you actually are going to become more optimistic. You know, sometimes a person's energy we connect with influences us, right? Maybe the um, energy we carry, our view on something, people we surround ourselves with, they influence us. And what I'm seeing is that through your future spouse, my dear pal three, you will actually also get much more mm, like optimistic. <laughs> it's kind of like they will maybe make you see life from a different angle or there is this element of gratitude coming through as well. Let me tell you, your future spouse is going to be so grateful for having you in their life. I also feel like for some of you guys, you could um, meet in some kind of like, I see a social setting, like a social gathering. Um, it feels like a celebration or a party or an event. Public place. Um, could possibly even be a... A place where people are drinking, eating something. Okay, I'm receiving another message. It's about your future spouse. Something for you to know. Your future spouse, it doesn't matter whether you know them right now or not. But right now as I'm talking, and this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this... Your future spouse is actually working through a shadow aspect of themselves. Like they are healing a shadow pattern or shadow self aspect. And it's very, very important for them to do this. Very important. I really feel like your future spouse, they... Yeah... They're currently working on a part of themselves which has been making them, yeah, self-sabotage themselves for quite some time. And it's very important for them to overcome it, to give it the attention and nurture it needs to heal. Because they don't want to be trapped like that anymore. Have you heard the, the quote, like, a person can be their own worst enemy this is what can happen when we have certain blockages that are well sabotaging us right and our life our dreams our um, self-perception and stuff like that and your future spouse is right now healing something which is very important and let me tell you it will make them so empowered. It has something to do with, I'm hearing um, a belief. A belief that has been put on them. Which has been, especially subconsciously, trapping them for quite some time. And it has shown in certain behaviors they had towards themselves. And now what they're doing is much needed work. And they will do it. Like they will overcome it. Because it's almost like I can already see them coming out of the situation victorious. If some of you guys haven't met your future spouse yet, maybe your future spouse is meant to do this work before you guys meet. All right. And by the way, we have the... Um, the Wheel of Fortune for you guys, right? And the Wheel of Fortune can sometimes symbolize divine timing as well. So maybe that's something they first need to overcome. And then you guys are meant to meet.
there are certain things that are being kept a secret. Have trust that it is meant to be this way. Maybe there is certain information you would like to get to know. But the messages in here are pretty clear that sometimes it's better to know less. Or sometimes maybe you want to know something very, very bad. But it would be better for us to not know too much. And for some reason, I'm getting this message in here. Be comfortable with not knowing everything. Because it's kind of like the, your spirit guides are keeping certain information away from you. Oh my goodness, I have received this message before in the past. But I think it was a very long time ago. But I remember it. <laughs> yeah, Maybe some of you guys have been um, receiving this message in my last or previous readings in the past. And you remember it. But... I really feel like your like your spirit guides are keeping certain information about your future spouse hidden from you and there is a reason for it. And the message in here is very clear. It's all about um trust in this, okay? Have trust in it. Your spirit guides are doing this for a reason. My dear pal three, this is all I have for you guys for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And as always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my dear.